it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to some more Seafed's World Act 3 this time. We are uh, going back to this game and yes, as you can see, Alonzo is back with vengeance in his heart against our team. So, um... Yeah, we're going to continue it without any profile, without anything special like that. This is, I think, when, uh, one of the few places where, like, it uh, you would need to create a profile, you would obtain, like, a very cool thing. A very cool Easter egg at the end, if you had the profile. But, regardless, get to see one of the most beautiful intros ever in the Sith Heads world. Alright, Vinay, you're still listening to the old forgotten lock, rock? By the way, how old are you? I am actually very curious about it, especially. Kiro, do me a favor, throw yourself out of my car. I won't do that. You will miss me. <laughs> I think we will miss your enemies more than you. Yes, there's some truth to that. So we got news on Alonso. He's probably hiding in Italy. And nine more. That was massive, but obviously we would survive that. Here's a little message from Alonzo. All right, as I said, we are back into action. Yeah, just you know, it's just a flesh wound. All right, back with Vinny, I guess. This is the moment where we finally finish things up here. Um, you know what? Let's go. Action style. Bring it on! Yeah, right. Oh! There you go. That's what I like about the shotgun. It completely blows things up. Literally. Oh! Oh, nice. I'm kind of low on HP. I like some of it, but you can hear a cop car coming. Come on. There you go. Oh, shit. Um, drop your weapon! It's okay, the criminals are down. Yeah, I said drop your weapon! Better drop it before he does it in his pants. Alright, fair enough. Well, that <laughs> ended better than expected. Sometimes it's hard to be a good citizen. And I kind of forgot that Vinny is like, sort of like, on the good side of the police because he like hunts criminals basically. Yes, yeah, so there's a commissioner. My plan was a success. Everything is fine. We put one of their crew in jail. Nicely done. Money will be deposited in your account. God damn it, corrupt police! Technically, we're still a criminal. Wake up, prisoner. Just that, you know, we're killing criminals so therefore doing a favor. But this kind of vigilante justice isn't usually, like, approved of all over the world. Damn, these guys look sexy. You took your time. Anything else to say? Sexy uniform. Get me out of here. Exactly what I said. God damn it. I don't know. At your service. If I remember that or if it just literally just came out of my mouth. But anyway, two hours later at the safe house. Um, you can now stock clothes at the safe house. Uh, finally the Bounty Hunter classification panel is accessible, you know, it wasn't accessible from the beginning. This is like the act in which it finally got implemented. And uh, there's another shooting yard uh, behind the building over here, I think. Yeah, look at this. A lot of stuff over here. This is the pool yard with uh, a bunch of sh uh, shooting things. Oh shit, those are fast. Yeah, I'm... Not very good at those, so I'm just going to go over here. Is like a small um, place, which is the place with the Easter egg. I'm going to tell you about it because you know, have the that style, the cop style, pretty cool. You know, pretty decent. All uh, that we also have this small. Oh, hello. Maybe he come join me, please. Um, no, no, I need to take my revenge on the loss. All right. Uh, Vinny got his business straight, you know. He, 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 no time to uh, mess around with uh, little niceties, I guess. Alright, checking out downstairs. This is the 
the you know computer with the game. This is the armory. You need to like get the key card in every single episode. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, this is the bounty hunter list. There you go. Finally, the key card for the armory, which is it's still there every single episode, by the way. But uh, you know. But yeah, obviously since I have not gotten a profile, I only have the starting weapon. But you know, if you have the profile and if a profile still works, because I'm not sure the servers are still functional at this point in time, you could keep your previous weapons and even the previous money. It's clear that the police is corrupted. I need to talk to the mayor. Why wouldn't he be corrupted? Now it's top along the conspiracy. It will not be easy because the police must be searching for you and guards at the city hall will be warned. Don't kill any hearts and you won't be seen, okay. Complete the game to unlock. Hey Vinny! Can take my ride while yours is wrecked. Oh, we can take his bike, how about that? Shelby parts. Oh yeah, I remember because our uh, car is technically like busted. There would be like uh, pieces of uh, equipment all over the place. Oh, so this was the building that we couldn't access before, the city hall. Yeah. Let's check the gun shop first. See if there's anything new or interesting over there. <clears throat> Alright, still the shurikens. Same old, same old. Yeah, I think you get like um, a special gun from this mission. I cannot remember exactly. Um, how it happened, but regardless, here I am. Police might be searching for me. I better be discreet. I need a tranquilizer gun. Darwin must have one. Yeah, if you guys remember, Darwin is like, um, he's a uh, old, good old friend. Gigi Restaurant, Darwin, and so on. Yeah, there are a few places that, uh, you know, are, um, like new around here there is this like crime hideout there is this uh, Gigi restaurant I'll, I'll call it like just GG because uh, you know it's way more comfortable for me in Romanian to call it like that I think there probably will be some missions over here and uh, finally Darwin's home his good old friend that uh, supplied him with weapons whenever he needed um, anything over here? What's up? Hey, Winnie, always sifting heads. Yeah, the weapon expert can modify any kind of weapon to make you more dangerous if you pay him well. He can do anything you want. He's also a friend of Winnie. You can see him see if it's five. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, um, you can like uh, modify the weapons to like increase their precision and power at him. But what we want is a lot of tranquilizer gun. And there you go. Yeah, that was a pretty new thing that uh, was uh, kept in the cartels. See if it's cartels. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting, you know. It's pretty cool. But all that being said, better be discreet. All right, I am ready. Sup? Oops. Must have slipped my finger. Ding. Some situation you can use stealth. Stay hidden and press spacebar at the right moment to draw your weapon and eliminate your target. Yeah, see, this is like the little advantage. So technically, right now we are not seen. Uh, it was in the previous uh, ones as well, so we can wait until you know he's right over here, and then bam. So I remember, like the tranquilizer gun was like sometimes hard to use. Can't exactly remember why. Well, no one's here. Sometimes it wouldn't just fire properly. Oh shit. Ah, there you go. Got a little bit stuck over there, but I still managed to do it in good enough time. Alright. Sup, sir? Are you Vinny, our evaded criminal? Yeah, but I'm here to warn you about Alonzo. I know that he corrupted our justice system. Yeah, we must put him down. Or things will only get worse. Okay, Assassin, let's work together. Alright, now that was way more cooperative than I would have expected. Help you find the laws associated associates in the Chicago police and the same time the one responsible for you. You're visiting prison, watch out, you're a popular bounty hunter and the criminals know you well. 
All right. Well then, if I'm a power popular bounty hunter, the criminals know you know me well. They will know my extraordinary capacities, so I'm ready. Anyone want some more? Oh, get wrecked, son. Oh, get shit on. Can't touch this. Oh, what do we have over here? Nice. Let's see who dip their hands in this. <clears throat> Hmm, seems like our commissioner is dealing with criminals. Hmm, and he's probably not the only one. I need better proof than this. Uh, I think that would be pretty good to like at least stir up some rumors if you could post it on the internet or on Facebook or something like that. Hmm, well, will the mayor have anything? Uh, uh nothing interesting here. Alright, well. Shit, um, there is the hotel, the slum buildings, the bar, I, um, uh, I mean, I, I know, uh, I need, like, better evidence, but I don't really know exactly where to find it at this point, wait, let me, oh, not, not that, shit, uh, objectives, lack of money, what? Soaking in his drug organization, and he should be a direct partner of Alonso. Got a lead of one of his meetings next to the crime head. I'll take a picture of him leaving the deal and the commissioner and take a picture of him. Hmm. Okay, so we need like basically a vantage point to take a picture. It's not this one. Um, this one maybe no. Uh, no. Uh, sup sir, nothing here, maybe here, nope, wasn't he best back in the criminal place? Maybe, I don't know, it's a little bit of, um, that was the hotel, let's check the slum buildings, you might expect that it would be there, um, oh look, another Shelby part, mm, forget it, nothing interesting there, well then. Maybe the business tower? I mean, it's a tower, therefore it's like pretty tall, so you can get like a good vantage point, maybe. Hey, another Shelby part. Shelby part. Locked. Okay. Alright, yeah, this looks pretty good. Well, I don't see anything. Wait, it might, it might be down. Oh, there he is. Alright, so we have like a CD in the criminal hideout, we have a picture of him leaving the criminal hideout. I think that's pretty solid evidence for now. The commissioner, a picture of him leaving the crime hideout premises. Hmm. So I think it won't be enough to stop the Alonso's conspiracy. Probably. We need more proof of his conspiracy? Yes, we need evidence of his drug trafficking in our city. Okay, I'll take care of this. Yeah, see, so that's the idea that Vinny, you know, is a... Uh, it's a sort of a good guy in a vigilante way, you know, it's, a, it's like sort of a Batman, but he kind of like kills people. He kind of just looks for himself, basically. And, you know, if it pays, then, you know, he's gonna do it. And mostly, you know, criminals want to kill each other most of the times and they will pay good money for that so that's how Vinny just makes about his leaving sometimes though you know it can happen to like uh, you know hit the wrong guy maybe but we will see about that so um, I have to find something uh, linking the drug conspiracy hmm introspection Trafficking in Italy, trafficking in Italy. Oh, we have to actually go in Italy and find evidence of the drug trafficking. Well, boys, Palermo, Italy is our next destination. Oh, yeah, and finally, remember if you if you guys remember, like in the previous episode, in episode one, when you went to Italy, it was like a sort of like a linear place. Oh, hello, sir. That was kind of sudden. Oh, hello, sirs. 
Who the fuck do you think you're messing up with here? Wow, all the doors are locked. Apparently, that's all you need to keep Finny away. Oh, get shit on. Alright, that takes care of one of the premises. So yeah, I wanted to say that in the previous one, you know, there was kind of a linear way in the in Palermo, Italy. Now you actually have a map to it, you know. So that's something. Let's check out, let's hit up the gun shop. Arsenal. The guy is not here. Weapons are locked, but not the munitions. Alright, so you can like heal yourself up and uh, you know, it's like kind of having a safe house over here so you don't like have to backtrack all the way to Chicago just like get some ammo and, and health. Okay, let's check. Um, so we were the hotel. No, we are. Yeah, we were the hotel. Locked. Apartment block. Were we there? Might have been there actually. No, it, we haven't been. Okay, let's check over there. Ah! Pretty cool music. Keeps me up in focus. Uh, oops, I went down by accident. Oh, oh! Check this out. Not exactly sure how, like, killing a... I mean, killing a bunch of, like, guys, you know, it's okay. We're at least hurting... Uh, the economy, but I'm not sure how these briefcases are actually like um, evidence. But hey, what do I know about this kind of stuff? The port, I can't remember if I've been there. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember just how ridiculous this place was. Jesus. Alright, well. Took care of that. I remember it took me a little a long time to like find out what the hell was I supposed to do, and well, that was what you were supposed to do. Anyway, that was uh, about it. I guess I'll go over here once more time and one more time and just uh, you know heal up, grab ammo, and go back back to Chicago. <clears throat> Alright, is this like enough evidence, maybe? It's a pretty strong conspiracy. Mr. The Mayor can talk right now. Uh, meet me at the Gigi restaurant in one hour. Or Gigi or whatever. No problem. Okay, well, I don't feel exactly safe about this, but... I, oh, sure, I guess. Uh, you made it? Quick. See? Bounty Hunter can be useful. Evidence will be used against Alonzo soon enough, but... Uh, yeah, I must tell you something. Uh, well... Shit. Could have spoken a little bit faster. The men have killed the mayor right under your nose. They'll pay for this. Try to survive the situation. Oh yeah, I remember this situation. Like, you have cover, but it won't last for too long. We are so low on health. Uh. Oh, shit. Mm. There you go. Should have been a little bit more careful. Oh! Hey, seems like my bullet only grazed your head. I'll fix that. How conveniently that one of them survived just so that we can, you know, it's very simple. You tell me where Alonzo hideout is, or else you will suffer. Fuck you. Alright, well, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Is that all you got? No, there's much more. Alonzo will take care of you. Are you sure about that? I'll tell you a word. Is that all you got? Forget it. Guess we have to do the strong stuff, man. I'm sorry. God damn it, dude! Oh, Jesus! I would say it right now if I were you. Are you sure about that, bro? I don't think... Uh, eh, how about I, like, push this thing, like, right through your leg? 
forget. God damn, look at his face. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll tell you. Glad he did eventually. I mean, before I ravished his entire body. Using tactics to avoid long bounty hunters so they have created tunnels everywhere under the city streets. The passage are hidden. The guy you tortured told you about the secret entrance and the bar. There you go. I knew there was something, something about those places. Oh, we're doing... Wow, we're... Wait a second, I'm not going like this, Jesus. I'm like almost dead and I have very little ammo. Alright, let me just... Uh, you know, get back over here quickly, replenish. But yeah, this episode was pretty cool. It was uh, pretty nice at its time. It brought uh, a bunch of new things, basically. But uh, you know, and and it kept improving. But yeah, it still like ended up a bit short. That with Sift Head's um, ultimatum. And apart from this, I wanted to talk a little bit. There are like a few more games, like. Um, uh, there's like Sift Heads 1 Remastered, there's like the, um, not over here, there's like the, um, uh, there, uh, there was a series of games called Sift Heads Assault, which are just uh, like a bunch of like shooting range style games. Um, there are a few games with shorty, like shorty covers and a few more. There you go, that's the stuff right there. And uh, yeah, I think apart from that... This only gets us up. Okay, I have to like reopen it. Um, and apart from that, there was still like Sift Renegade 3, and I think that was all the games, you know, after Sift Heads Ultimatum and Sift Renegade 3, which showed a little bit of backstory for Kuro's brother. Um, the game just went to the Sift Heads card. Oh, and there was also Sift Heads Street Wars, which was supposed to be like some sort of like massive online multiplayer game, but it failed kind of dramatically and well oh get shit on hmm can I not break this it does wiggle around so eh. I, I really don't remember this I um uh, think this is the right place to go but yeah I, I do wonder what's over there maybe we find a key later we are kind of low on ammo, so as much as I hate to backtrack, I guess I'll have to do it and I'll... God damn it, I'll also like go to a gun shop and buy some ammo. Uh, I guess I'll cut it just for you to not see this little backtracking. Alright, so it seems that shotguns does, don't work either. I have armed myself like I'm ready to rob a bank, basically. And, uh, yeah, um... I guess I'm ready to go forward with this, so we have this like branching tunnel path, there is absolutely nothing here, so I guess we go this way, another like possibly branching path, well this looks pretty good, but we got them all. I thought I grabbed ammo for the pistol, I guess it grabs ammo for the weapon that you currently have equipped, hmm, there are a bunch of places that are locked over here, so probably... Yep. Probably do have to like find a key or something. Oh, there he is! Vinny! Come join our little party! Got a new, a new prosthetic, Alonso? Yeah! I forgot to thank your partner, Kiro, for this gift. Okay, enough gains, Alonso! I'll stop you for good! Right in front of you, but he's got his pack of mutts with him. These are tough dogs, don't get your ass sifted. Okay. Yeah, I remember. These are like really hard, and you'd have to like have some sort of like strong weapon to take them out. Shit. Alright. There you go. Well, that went pretty well. Where the fuck did he go? Up there. Aha! Come back here! I see you! Stop running! Oh wait, there was something behind there. Can I? Can I? Ah, it was a vent. Hmm. What's this? Whoa! Okay, I guess I will stay here then. I can stay here all day long, no problem. Ah, ah, ah. Oh shit. 
I guess I can... Shit. I guess I cannot, like, dual wield uh, a weapon and a shield, maybe? Ooh! Quickly, behind the shield, alright. Oh, hmm. That didn't took him out. God damn, this guy is tough, man. I mean, took so many bullets to the head and still for nothing. Hold that shield, Vinny! Hold it like your entire life depends on it! Because it kind of does. Shit. God damn, this shield is good, man. Ah, shit, I died right at the end. I, I just didn't wait it well. Anyway, I want to check. Ah, there's nothing here. God damn it. Okay, let me grab that. Alright, let's do this old song and dance again. I love how just like how calm he stays be, be behind this shield, you know. Just like, ah, you know, it's just getting shot by a Gatling machine gun or some sort of like rotative machine gun. That's just a day in my life, you know. I could smoke a cigarette right about now, but I guess I have to hold the shield with one hand, so I can't really... And I have the gun in my other hand, so you know... I'll... Shit, it takes a lot of hits. I guess, you know, it's also like really relatively hard to hit him there. So you'd kind of imagine that the fight would be like a little bit more dynamic. But, uh, you know, eventually only one or two bullets hit him and take him out. God damn, how many have been? there been? Six? Five, six? It is not going down. Shit. I hope he's not like bogged or anything like that. I mean, you understand for him to like take a bunch of bullets because it's relatively easy. There you go. Maybe it's because I was using the pistol. Take a break, old man. You'll never stop me. I got too many associates. I'll never go to in jail. Oh, I got a better idea than that. And that's the idea that is like very very cool about it so uh, remember uh, in our like uh, basement the the small like locked up place with a toilet yeah instead of like going, uh, sending him to an actual like proper jail from which he would be released because you know he has too many contacts and he would you know uh, find his way out of jail we just you know lock him up personally in our own basement so, you know, that's something. I don't know why you just, like, didn't kill him on the spot. Maybe you thought that you could obtain more out of him. Maybe, you know, you might maybe feel pity on him. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I really felt like at this spot, you should have just killed him, you know. Uh, and not just, like, you know, keep him for whatever other reason. Because you know that eventually he was going to, like, escape or you know, do something over there. Regardless, this has been Sifted's World Act 3, so hope you guys enjoyed watching, leave a like and a subscribe if you did, helps a lot, and I'll see you next time with the Bye-bye!